Hey guys, welcome back to Tying Tuesday. My name is Kyle and today we are going to be tying up the electric damsel. Really good still water pattern with still water kind of heating up right now. It's a good time to get out on the lakes with runoff. Um, this will be a great pattern to put in your box. Uh, let's get started. Uh, hook I'm using for this guy is going to be the Arex FW530 and this is a size 10. Uh, bead for this guy is going to be a 764 chartreuse bead. Thread I'm using for this guy is a Vivis Light All of 70. I'm going to start my thread right behind the hook here, right behind the bead, work my thread right there, cut off my excess. Keep working this thread to about where the barb is on this hook. Right there. All right, next we're gonna tie in our tailing material. It's just gonna be a light olive marabou. Um, I like to pull some of the fibers off the side of the feather. A little bit more there. Stack these together. The tips lined up. Looks good right there. And tying our tail. Right there. And trim out my excess. Then I'm going to work my thread back up towards the bead here. Nice coat of thread on this hook. Our right, next material we're going to use is our wire for our rib. This is a chartreuse wire, and this is the small size. I'm going to start right on the side of the shank here towards me. Just catch that wire right there. Just work that down the shank. Just like that. Just another good coat of thread here. Next, we're going to dub our body. And body material for this guy is going to be the SLF Spiky Dubbing Squirrel in the golden olive color. Super buggy dubbing. I really like this stuff a lot. Take this noodle, get a good noodle on here. I like to really twist this stuff in. Nice thin dubbing rope. Just like that. And then we're just gonna wrap this forward. Just nice touching wraps. About right there. Then I'm gonna counter wrap my wire. It's good segmentation here. Capture my wire. Helicopter my wire off. And I'm just kind of clean this top section up a little bit. All right, next material is gonna be our scud back for the thorax area. And this is just the olive color in the 1 8 size. Kind of like to catch this right behind the bead there be a little tricky so just take your time just like that and start get this centered up here there we go just like that then we're gonna add some more of this dubbing A little bit of a 
pinch there. Don't need a ton of it. Some nice noodle going again here. Might have a little too much, but that's all right. And we're just gonna wrap this forward. So, and then next I'm gonna put a dubbing loop in here. I'm gonna add my CDC. And the CDC I'm using for this guy is a chartreuse CDC. My spinner. And I like to just put the feather in the dubbing loop hole like this. And then just cut the side right, right next to the stem there. If you're kind of new to this, Definitely be a good idea to use like a dubbing loop clip, something like that to kind of make it a little easier for you. I got my CDC in there. I'm gonna give this a spin. Spin all that up. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping this forward. Gives this fly a super buggy look. CDC is a great material for movement. It's one of my faves for sure. And we're gonna capture that loop off there. A couple of wraps of thread. Snip that out. And we are gonna fold over our scud back here. And it should splay those legs out to each side. Capture that off right there. Just like that. A couple of wraps this way, a couple of wraps forward. I'm gonna trim that out. Just clean up this head a little bit, give it a whip finish, and we are almost done. Finish on this guy. So, so. trim off my thread. And then last thing I like to do here, I like to size up this tail. This tail's a little long for my liking. So I kind of just pinch it off. It's good right there, and then I kind of trim out these legs a little bit here. And there you have it, the electric damsel. If you like this pattern today, you can give us a like and subscribe. You can find all these materials online on avidmax.com or come and visit me in the shop. Thanks for watching.